Hello and welcome back. This is CDS Professional Development Course. In this course, we will be covering CDS. We will be covering AMDP. We'll be covering how to expose the data of CDS view with OData services. We will also see HANA CDS, how they are different. And also we will do performance tuning of this operation, which we create or the queries or the structure which we create, how capable they are to extract data, both for analytical application and also for transactional application. So all this thing is packed within this course. And this is a weekly course where we will keep on adding more and more topics over time when the development or update happens in the CDS perspective. Now, CDS is one of the most demanding skills now in market. You will be seeing a lot and lot of information on CDS in blogs, in articles, in documents, and everywhere spread across the entire internet. In YouTube as well. But the problem what happens is there's so many bits and pieces that it confuses you more and more. Now, what happens when you're trying to learn CDS is you need a course which start from very basics. If you might be a back consultant, you might be a UI5 gateway consultant, and you're trying to learn CDS. Now, with the existing knowledge, and you see this different perspective, it's not an entirely different perspective but only few concepts are different. Like how can I use my SQL or open SQL? Now, previously we were used to work with native SQL. How can I use this open SQL to create this structure? What are the ways I can explore this structure? How can I have different way of filtering the data within the structure? How can I provide association navigation? How the currency is dealt here? So all these things need to be gradually dealt with. And that is what we think is missing out there. We have not seen a single course which is gradually building those concepts for consultants who are coming from different background or who are trying to master the CDS concept to work on project faster. And that is what different in this course. We start with very basics and we are gradually building over the knowledge which you already are gaining over time. And it will be very easy to master CDS view after you have gone through that course. And apart from that, we are providing you a developer helper guide, which will be an offline read. And also if you are trying to implement all the practices for this particular course, then you can also paste the code initially when you are not sure about the syntax or you are getting some syntax error, then you can also paste the code from there. And it can always help you in your consulting project when you're trying to consult for a big customer or client speed is of priority. So you can use this document as your reference guide as well. I hope that this course meets the criteria or meets your standard to learn CDS view. We have created this course after a lot of research and work. Now this course is not only covering the basic syntax or highlight. We also tell you why something is done in certain fashion, how it can be changed or in a technical scenario when you try to implement those and how will we that be different and um, those concepts are gradually built. I hope that you will have wonderful time learning CDS with CDS professional development course and I highly recommend this course to any consultant who are serious about working with CDS and starting from scratch or starting from basics or even you have certain degree of CDS experience and you want to just kind of fill the gaps with something which you are not aware about. This course is highly recommended. My name is Ajay Naik and I will be instructing this course and I hope to see you in this course.